Sidney Kibrick and Carl Switzer were two of the many child actors who could be seen in the R Gang and Little Rascal shorts of Hollywood's golden age. Carl played Alfalfa, while Sidney played Woim. It's long since been rumored that most of the kids in the shorts had trouble getting along with Carl Switzer, who later died tragically young at age 31. Today, Sidney Kibrick is one of only five remaining Little Rascals, and he's finally revealed the truth about Carl. Join Facts First as Little Rascals' as Sidney Kibrick confirms the rumors about Carl Switzer. Sidney Kibrick is still getting Little Rascals fan mail. Sidney Kibrick is a former Hollywood star who found success in the Little Rascals shorts at a young age before deciding to leave the business altogether after entering into double digits. Today, he's one of only five surviving stars from the series, which featured a plethora of different child actors over the course of its production. Despite the fact that 94-year-old Sidney hasn't worked in Hollywood in over eight decades, the former child star still gets fan mail from new audiences who are just getting into the shorts. It seems their popularity has endured in a way greater than most other works from that time, and Sidney is grateful to have been a part of them. Though the series of shorts is more commonly known as The Little Rascals, it was originally called Our Gang. The name was changed when it was sold to MGM. The Our Gang shorts were produced for two decades with a rotating cast of child actors. They started in 1922 and were produced in some capacity until 1944. They followed a group of rambunctious young kids, which was a unique concept for the time. The shorts were shown in movie theaters and quickly became popular. They were the brainchild of famed producer Hal Roach, and one of the many writers who offered their talents to the series was Frank Capra. In the 1950s, the series was brought to TV, where they became more popular than ever. Today, The Little Rascal stands as one of those rare media franchises that everybody seems to recognize no matter their age. In the 1990s, the property was revived as a feature film, which was a modest success. Sydney is one of the only rascals left. As one of the only five surviving little rascals, Sydney feels he understands why the shorts endured in the mainstream. According to Sydney, the concept of a bunch of rambunctious little kids doing silly things is a timeless concept that will never go out of style. The public seems to agree as people are just as interested in the Little Rascals as ever. Sidney claims he gets just as much fan mail today as he has at any other time in his life, and not all of it comes from the U.S. Much of Sidney's fan mail comes from other countries, like Germany and Japan. Sidney Kibrick played the character of Woim in the Little Rascals shorts, and his character could always be found picking on Alfalfa. A child star named Carl Switzer played Alfalfa, and he's one of the many stars who's no longer with us. Though Carl played the protagonist and Sidney played the antagonist, it seems as if their roles were reversed when the cameras stopped rolling. All accounts suggest that Sidney was always a joy to work with, while there was allegedly no one who could get along with the actor playing Alfalfa. Carl Switzer was said to have constantly abused his power as one of the more popular child actors in the shorts and made life a living hell for his fellow child stars. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Everyone in the Little Rascals shorts hated Alfalfa. According to Sidney Kibrick, none of the child stars on set got along with Carl Switzer behind the scenes. This came in contrast to the fact that Carl was the beloved child star tasked with playing one of the series' most lovable characters. There have always been rumors that the adorable Alfalfa was a pain to work with when the cameras weren't rolling, and many Little Rascals fans have brushed these rumors aside as urban legends. But it seems these legends of Alfalfa having been a pain to work with are more than just rumors. Sidney Kibrick has recently confirmed that Carl was indeed a pain to work with on the shorts. Carl Switzer let his celebrity status get to his small head, and it caused him not to listen to the instructions of director Gordon Douglas. When Carl didn't listen to what he was supposed to be doing, it caused the rest of the Little Rascals' kids to have to work more hours. Carl didn't care, as he felt the Little Rascals was all about him. Though Sidney claims Carl was a pain to work with, he says the actors who played the other popular characters were as charming as could be. Sidney says the kids who played Spanky and Darla were just as pleasant off-screen as they were on it, which suggests Carl was the only one of the many child stars who ended up letting his ego take over. There is also a rumor of a Little Rascal's curse. 
This is mostly because the majority of the former child stars went on to live miserable lives and die tragically young. This may be an adage that's true about child stars over the years in general, but it's surprisingly not all that accurate with regards to the majority of child stars who took part in Little Rascals. Carl Switzer died tragically young, but not cursed. According to Sidney Kibrick, Carl Switzer is one of the few former child stars from The Little Rascals that died tragically young and miserable. Carl died at 31, and the cause of death was a bar fight. Given that Carl was said to have been one of the only child stars on the set who was difficult, it should come as no surprise he was apparently one of the only ones who led a miserable life. The rest of the former Little Rascals seem to have gone on to lead relatively normal lives with most of them choosing to leave the entertainment industry behind like Sidney did. Sidney didn't like the work that he was getting after The Little Rascals ended, so he left the industry behind at age 11. He had gotten into child acting at the insistence of his parents, who needed the extra money during the Great Depression. The $750 that Sidney brought home each week during his Little Rascals years helped a great deal, and Sidney's parents were hesitant to let him leave Hollywood behind. However, the decision ended up being for the best. Sidney found success in real estate, with the former child star building his own development in the area of Palm Springs. Though Sidney left Hollywood behind, he's always had a special place in his heart for the Little Rascals. He put together a Little Rascals reunion during the early 1980s that was a big event, with the part being hosted by film critic Leonard Malton. Of course, Carl Switzer wasn't one of the former child stars in attendance. Sidney claims he and his co-stars would sometimes have to work days as long as 16 hours. Carl Switzer's misbehavior was just one of the many reasons for that. But despite all that, Sidney claims working on the series was a positive experience and the majority of the child actors went on to lead happy lives afterwards. Although Sidney wasn't one of the biggest stars on set, he claims producers treated him very well. Today, he's one of only five surviving cast members, with the others being Robert Blake, Jerry Tucker, Mildred Cornman, and Leonard Landy. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite little rascal? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So, if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the Join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members-only videos waiting for you, with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click Join, and we'll see you inside the Membership tab.